Hey guys, Aquaman here. Today I have another subscription box unboxing for the month of September. Uh, this is obviously Bambox. Um, I think this month's theme is strange. So um, there's a couple fandoms in here that I'm pretty interested in. Uh, the top one would probably be Stranger Things. Um, if you guys haven't seen the TV series yet, um, I suggest you get that 30 day trial from uh, Netflix if you don't have Netflix. Get that 30 day trial, watch it, and then you can just cancel your subscription to Netflix or whatever it is that the trial and just cancel it um, and just watch it. It's, a, it's definitely a, a nice uh, series to get into. Can't wait for season two. Um, and I believe Doctor Strange is in this. Um, what else? I think Beetlejuice and Alice in Wonderland are in there too. Um, I believe that like like a, there's like a Tim Burton type of theme into it, so I'm I'm pretty excited about about that. I love all uh, Tim Burton films, so I'm pretty excited just to get into this. Um, I believe the big item this month uh, that's like in one in four boxes is like a signed item from one of the um, Stranger Things kids. Uh, they did like a si signing session with them, and it the the big item is in one in four boxes. Um, and I think that's like an instant winner type of thing. So let's just jump right in and see what we get. Um, pretty excited for this month. So let's, let's just all jump right. right in. So we got the spoiler booklet. I'm not going to look at this at all. I guess they upgraded it into actual, like, uh, almost like a magazine. Some similar to what, um, they did with, uh, Loot Crate. Um, so I'm not going to look at this. So here's a list of like all of the, 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 the fandoms, franchises that's in this box. We got Beetlejuice, Stranger Things, obviously. Doctor Strange. I didn't realize Willy Wonka was in here. That's really cool. Maybe like a Gene Wilder uh, item. That'd be really cool since uh, since it was passing in the last uh, month or so. And then we got, for the pin this month, we got uh, Beetlejuice, which is really cool. I love uh, Beetlejuice. And then we also got an instant winner card. So um, I have no idea what's in it. Um, I'm pretty I'm pretty excited just to jump right in. Right, so we got a classic... Uh, little paper right there um let's just jump right in i think we got this little item here what does it say the dream is real i have no idea what this is <laughs> i'm gonna try to do it with my arm so we got oh it's um it's inception so these are like the little totems um from inception you got the dice uh if you guys haven't seen inception Basically, it's like a pretty much like a mind-bending type of uh, film from Chris Nolan. Um, Leonardo DiCaprio's in it. A um, whole bunch of a um, whole bunch of people are in it. And then this is pretty heavy. It's it's diecast. Um, it, these these are totems. So basically, they're in a dream sequence. Um, if they have these in their in their dreams, uh, it's kind of complicated. Um, but Basically, these are they're pretty pretty nice quality um, little uh, replicas of their totems from the movie, which is really cool. I enjoy that a lot. I love that movie. I love Chris Nolan films in general, so that's really cool. I'm definitely be keeping right. that. So the next item is from Stranger Things. Um, it is a bat of some sort. Uh, forgive me because I actually I saw I I've, I've seen the series and. Um, I saw it like the first week and my short-term memory is horrible. Um, I believe this is probably one of the um, weapons that they use in the in the actual series. Um, but, you know, my short-term memory is pretty horrible, so I don't even remember this. Um, so yeah, uh, it's a Next item. item. I have no idea what it is. I'm gonna pull it out for you guys. So we got, it looks like, it's like a, a pocket watch? That's pretty cool. Holy shit. Yeah, I was totally right. It is a pocket watch, and it's actually the... I'm pretty sure that's the correct time. It's 2.45 right now, p.m. Eastern. Um, that is really awesome. And I believe this is from Alice in Wonderland. It's from, I guess, the pocket watch that the White Rabbit uses. Um, I know a perfect person to give this to. Um, I think I might actually give it to him, to her. Uh, she loves Alice in Wonderland. And all the that type of stuff, and it, it is a nice pocket watch. I gotta say, that's awesome. Wow, it's right. So the next item, it's a comic book. Um, it's a Bam exclusive, Bam Bam box exclusive. That's uh, from Grimm. 
Um, I have no idea what this is. Uh, in this case on the back, I'm assuming it's like a double issue or something like that. Um, so yeah, uh, I gotta look at and see what, what actually Grim is. Um, I think it's like the, I think they have a TV series about this or something like that, but uh, it's a like comic book obviously, but it's a band box exclusive com comic book cover on there. And then there's Kiss on the background. That's pretty, that's Here pretty we go. Funny. We got a little information card about the weapon. Um, basically it's just telling you what to do with the nails that come with it. Um, you remove the nails from the packaging and then you place the nails halfway through each hole in the, the bat. And then the step three is to avenge Barb. Um, so this is an actual weapon. So if you do have children, keep it away from them. Um, it is meant to be a, a replica. So um, luckily I don't have children, so I can put this where, where anywhere I want. Um, and uh, I can don't have to worry about it uh, having any interaction with children. So, um, But uh, I'll be more safe with this because um, I'm not sure if they're... I'm, I'm just, just go, I'll just be careful with that. So yeah, it's meant to be a replica, but if you have violent tendencies, um, do not use it. <laughs> I mean, it's it's pretty much like a mini bat. So yeah, it's a it's it could be used as a All weapon. Right. So the second to last item in the box, it is a print from Doctor Strange. That is awesome, and it's uh, signed numbered and everything that is awesome i love this this is so cool and it's a surf uh there's a coe or say coa sorry coa um uh, uh certification of authentic authenticity um so that's very cool and then i believe the last item is in here somewhere i can yeah it's there all right so uh, I'll pull out the next thing. So here's the last item of the box. It is, um, oh, Jesus Christ, I forgot his name. Uh, the, 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 the most, pretty much the most uh, famous uh, child from Stranger Things. Uh, he uh, signed this, signed the hat. I guess it's a replica, replica hat what, um, of the hat that he uses in the actual TV series. Um, I think his name is uh, the, act the actor's name is Gatton. Uh, I'm going to be frank. I, I totally forgot his uh, name, how to pronounce it anyway. Uh, Gatton, he um, signed it, and it's, uh, there's a COA right there. Really cool item. Um, a very feels pretty cheap to me. Uh, they could have done a, like a, 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 like almost like a, a much better quality of that. If they were going to do a sign item, that would have been really cool. Um, but, but I believe this is the instant winner, um, so that's pretty cool. And I, I believe that was that was the one in four uh, box chance that you get. Um, I'm not sure what else you, you get, um, but we'll look and see uh, the other options were in terms of the, like the um, the one up cards or whatever. So uh, that's pretty much it for the items, and I'll so run them here down. Here is the spoiler book. Um, so for this month's uh, pin, you could have gotten these uh, these four characters. Um, we got Beetlejuice, of course, and then we got uh, Winona Ryder's character. I totally forgot what her name was. Um, and then we got, let's see what, uh, Harry the Hunter, I guess that's. Uh, and, oh, Lydia. Sorry. Lydia um, and Harry the Hunter. And a variant of Harry the Hunter, which is like black and white. And then we got... Uh, we got the Stranger Things um, Demo, Demogorgon Killer replica bat with the nails, and I'll I'll just read it for you or read it for you from the scene where boyfriend Steve creates a weapon to go toe to toe with the Demogorgon. Who can forget the incredible bat spin? Comes this replica. Follow the instructions to place the nails into the bat. Display with pride, or carry out carry at your own risk should you suddenly find yourself in the upside down we'll make sure to leave some light bulbs out for you in case you do so here's the little replica bat obviously it's not a full size one otherwise it would be incredibly hard for them to ship that um and then we got the custom alice in wonderland white rabbit pocket watch 
Uh, Alice in Wonderland is filled with so many strangely wonderful items to pull from. Having just watched The Matrix the night before, do you, ca <laughs> do you catch the reference? We went with one of our favorite characters in the book movie, The White Rabbit, and perhaps no item is more iconic from The White Rabbit than his pocket watch. The custom pocket watch is made of stainless steel, so it does have some heft to it, and it definitely gives it a lot more value, and that's really cool. This one is probably my favorite item of the box. Um, it's the totem set from the movie Inception, so uh, here's a little breakdown of what it is. So uh, Christopher Nolan's mind-bending in Inception features a special item to test if one is, if one was in in one's own reality, dream or non-dream, or in another person's dream. A totem has a special modif specially modified quality, weight or feel. And in this set, we put Dom's totem, the spinning, uh, I'm not even gonna try to, <laughs> it's a tractosoic top, so it's like a top, which was originally Maul's, so his wife's, uh, wife's totem, and then Arthur's red dye. The dream is real. So that's that's really cool that they threw that in there. And then we'll jump into the, I guess this is the the other one-up item you could have gotten. Uh, the, the second, the first one was the variant of the pin of uh, Beetlejuice. Uh, this is the comic book. Uh, it's the BAM box exclusive Grim Volume 2, number one from Dynamite. What do Juliet, Adeline, Trouble and Rosalie have in common. They're the women in the life of Portland's own Grimm, Nick Burkhart, and they're about to cross paths in a way they never expect in this Bandbox exclusive from Dynamite Entertainment. And watch out for the extremely limited release black and white variant cover, which will be a one-up. So it's a comic book. I believe this is from a TV series, so I'm, I'm assuming it's from a TV series. And they just adapted it into a comic book, which is really cool. And then we jump into the variants, I believe. I think this is a variant. So uh, they've got this strange little print, uh, uh, Doctor Strange, obviously. So Strange is done in Adrian's amazing painting style, depicting Doctor Strange floating with his eyes closed and his third eye open. The variant will show the Doctor's eyes open, glowing with his, with his third eye closed. And it will be numbered out of uh, 250. Or we could have gotten uh, a print of um, Gene Wilder's interpretation of Wally Wonka called Pure Imagination. Um, I would have preferred if we gotten both of them. That would have been really cool if they threw that. But I understand that they couldn't th uh, throw both of them. That would have been really cool. Um, that would have been really cool if they could have gotten a signing from him before he, before he passed away. But... I kind of understand that you know he's like pretty much he was pretty much retired for the about like I think almost like 15 years so um, I totally understand what they were trying to do with that. Okay, so this is the item that I received it is the Bandbox exclusive Gatin Mata Matarazzo uh, Dustin. You know he plays Dustin in the Stranger Things, um, and it's the one up. Uh, and I'll read the little description of it. If you follow us on any of our social media sites you know how crazy in love we are with the stra the show Stranger Things and we adore Gatton's character Dustin. We had this custom hat created to match the one he wears in the show and in his first major si signing Gatton autographed the bill of each hat. So that's really cool that he autographed all the the um all of them. So and then uh, I think there was a little teaser of what next month is it's called watching so i guess all four of these characters are present in next months so yeah um i'm pretty excited all right so this month was pretty jam-packed if i say so myself um i'm gonna do a little rundown in value for all the items uh for the hat replica since it is one in four boxes i'll definitely be giving this a little more value but it is a cheap quality hat so i have to give a little value to that too so I'll probably give this around um, probably about $20. Um, it is signed, so that gives it a little more value. So I'll probably give around $5 more than that uh, for this the signed hat. The little weapon or replica, whatever you want to call it, 
of the Demogorgon Killer uh, Bat replica. Um, I'll probably give this around ten dollars. Um, it is a nice quality bat, um, but it is a smaller version of the actual bat. I guess they couldn't get a, a bigger version of it and throw that into a bigger box or whatever. Um, but that's the only downside that is it's the smaller version of it. So uh, I totally understand what they were trying to do with that. But yeah, that's really cool. Uh, probably give this around $15 or 10, 10 to $15. So I'll probably give that $15. Um, the pin this month is awesome. Um, I love the, the quality of it. It's enamel, it's definitely embossed. Um, I love that what they're doing with the, the pins and uh, I'll probably give this around $10, which is really cool. I love Beetlejuice. Um, so let's do a little uh, value uh, right now. So we got pretty much $25 for this, $15 for the um, bat replica. So that's about $40 right there. And then you got about $15 for the pin. So that's about 55 right there. I might be overvaluing most of these items, but I just like them just because personal value wise and uh, pretty much uh, what I'll keep and stuff like that. For the, the totem set, um, I'm definitely gonna give this around $15. Um, so that's about 60, I could be totally wrong. It could be like, I think it's like 70 right now. Um, and then the print, I'll probably give this uh, about $15 as well. It's a really nice print. Um, it is signed in number, you know, there's a COA on there. And then uh, the, the actual um, pocket watch, I'll definitely give this about $20. It is a nice quality one. It's die cast or stainless steel. Um, and it's in a little nice packaging. Very nice and it actually works. It's a working uh, pocket watch. I don't know, I'm not sure if they even make pocket watches anymore. Obviously they do since they threw this in there, but um, I know it's a working one. So it, you know, you have to give it face value of like what a watch costs now. Um, so I probably give this around $30. I mean, it's really nice and it's a working watch. You could use this for whatever you want. Um, so yeah, pocket watch about $30. Um, the comic book, um, I'll probably give this a face value of like a $5. Um, I don't think it's a variant, but I think it's like an actual exclusive book that they made for the actual box. So I'll probably give this around about $8, double the amount. I have no idea what, what this will come to in terms of value after all this is released. Um, but yeah, this is incredible box, um, definitely over $80 value. So I pay about $40 a month for this box. Um, I think in some change, I could be totally wrong. Um, it's close to $40. So uh, definitely you're getting double the amount of value for this month's box. Um, and I'm putting my personal value into it too. So it could be definitely sway in terms of uh, the, in terms of the value of it. So I'll definitely give this a five out of five this month. I love the items this month. Um, and I can't wait for next month, even though I'm not a big car fan. I know that they'll definitely um, They'll keep up with the trend that they're doing. So a Five out of five this month is awesome band box um, Keep doing what you're doing and uh, I do have one more subscription box coming uh, And I think it's coming tomorrow. So uh, look out for another video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye